Let me welcome you to the story of Genesis, Beginning Path to Paradise. Session 1, Introduction, The Creation of the Habitat of Man, The Wonder of the Place. This is the first of three extensive Bible studies in the Plan of the Ages for Man. In these Bible studies, we will trace the sovereignty of God at work in the epitome of his creation, the freedom of the human soul. In God's story for man, everyone has the opportunity to know, to appreciate, and to revel in the manifestation of the glory of God in their life. Mysteriously, the expression of God will be seen in the life of every person, the glorious wonder of it all. We will discover the path to the consummation of the ages. Book 1, Story of Genesis, Beginning, Path to Paradise. Book 2, Story of Job, Every Man's Path to Paradise. Book 3, Story of Revelation, Consummation of the Path to Paradise. To understand the path to paradise is to behold the wonder of it all. There is a place just beyond the horizon where the milk and the honey flow without reserve. Water surging down the mountain streams into the river of the valley is in bountiful supply. The plants of its field, the herbs of its grass, and the trees of its vineyard are present to the sight and good for food. In the valley there is peace and joy where everything that happens is, mysteriously, always just and right. Human words cannot express the majesty of the glory that permeates every hill, every plain, and every crevasse of its valley. It's a beautiful garden, where man can spend and enjoy the full days of his life in the place God created for him. The glorious glander of the place drove a man many, many years ago to cry out that he would lay down his life to protect the essence of its glory. The response to that cry, however, was a simple question. Will you? Sadly, the reality of man's effort to protect the essence of the place brought only denial, after denial, after denial, when the opportunity came to make the sacrifice. Mercifully, the expression of God entered into the inadequate effort of the struggling man. Reaching down an uplifting hand, the visible expression of God said, Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. The story of every man in the struggle to believe that the expression of God can indeed take him to the place where he was intended to dwell. Jesus of Nazareth, the magnificent incarnation of God, calmly said to the man, and will say to every man, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. The place, the abode, literal meaning of mansion, is the habitat where every man should have his home. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. Living in Jesus, man can be taken to the place prepared for him before the foundations of the world. I think we can identify the place, the habitat, which is called paradise, and the conditions surrounding it. God created you with a mind that can know the glory of God, and it is not a way off out there somewhere. You can be taken to that place now, today. To him that overcometh will I give to eat of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Wherever you may be, God can take you for a walk in the park, even at this moment. You can enjoy the wonder of the place God created for you. 
Learn more about that place, paradise, in the here and now, in the short videos to come.